then the angular angular velocity of ab angular velocity of ab equal to velocity of ab divided by ab equal to the angular velocity of ab is equal to 4 meter per second and then original distance of ab is equal to 0 0.3 meter so on 13.3 uh, radian per second in the clockwise direction okay then next we go for um, acceleration diagram then the C is fixed if so we know that the radial component of the acceleration of B with respect to C so so here here A radian BC equal to velocity of BC square divided by BC equal to 7.5 all squared 0 0.1 equal to 562.5 meter per second square so we we measured 562.5 is important 562.5 divided by 4 is equal to uh, 140 something meter per second the scale reduction is important so first parallel to BC so barrel to BC is a 1 140.6 it's parallel parallel to 140 it's a 140 something 140 something this is a hitter line is called B dash so in the second from point B double dash it is a double dash from point b double so draw the vector b double dash and b the perpendicular to vector c dash b double dash are cb to respect the tangential component of the acceleration of b with respect to c for example a tangential bc such that the vector p double dash b dash the vector the vector is also vector it's a first one the second one vector b double dash b dash is equal to a tangent l b c equal to 120 meter per second square so already we know, know that velocity of b c square and the c b BC BC is equal to 120 meter per second square so 120 mean 120 divided by 4 is equal to 30 120 it's a perpendicular axis 30 it's called B dash so you have joined B and C okay and then next it's a perpendicular to AB so A radiant so A radiant BC equal to velocity of 
uh, velocity of AB squared divided by AB is to 53.3 meter per second squared B dash X is also called vector B dash X is equal to A radian AB divided by 53.3 meter per second squared so B dash X 53 is parallel to BA BA is parallel to BA parallel to BA each 53 mean 13 point uh, 13 point 13 point something 13 something 13 point something okay each x and then next we it's a parallel to AC 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 and then the perpendicular AB perpendicular to the AB perpendicular to the AB It's a perpendicular to the AB and then joined it's a A dash B dash it's also A radiant C dash the line A B C B dash X and then A dash it's a A B And then next uh, AB, then it had joined is a perpendicular line. So it's C equal. So, first of all, a step by step procedure first you draw. Step one parallel to BC. So and then here parallel to BA A radian A B it's here. So it's uh, perpendicular to CB so it's perpendicular to AB it's parallel to AC and then seventh step perpendicular to B dash X so step 1 joined B dash C dash so it's called 562.5 meter per second square equal 53.3 meter per second square it's 120 meter per second square it's one for uh, sorry sorry 562.5 meter per second square remaining step so it's angular velocity of Angular uh, acceleration now uh, angular sort of acceleration is equal to B equal to acceleration of tangential B divided by B A equal to 546 divided by 0 0.31820 radian per second squared inch clockwise direction by measurement 
so guys uh, thanks for watching this video and subscribe my channel and thanks thanks you very much